Hey guys, we're here with Matt Eisman. Matt is the host of American Ninja Warrior, so you know this face. You've been asked this question a million times. You were a doctor before, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so when did that transition happen? Why did that transition happen? For me, I guess I sensed, you know, as I was going in medicine, I sensed that my heart wasn't in it. If you're having this feeling that you're not doing something that you're passionate about, uh, figure out how to explore something else. And for me, even as I was doing medical school, I was doing some stand-up comedy. And initially, I didn't think it was going to end up being my career. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually, it got to the point where I, I just felt like uh, I, 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 I couldn't keep going doing what I was doing. So then how did you ultimately all of this bring you to American Ninja Warrior? I mean, now you're in so, how many seasons? Six, uh, seven, this, seven? Is the ni this is season nine. I started on, in season two. So this is my eighth season. So the job I have now came from my very first hosting gig back in 2004, which was another lesson wow. I think of. I, I think because, you know, I worked my ass off. I, I always tried to be somebody people would want to work with. Mm -hmm. um, that whatever opportunity you have, even if it, it doesn't look like it's going to amount to anything, it can lead to your next gig. The other advice I have to people is say yes to everything, especially when you're starting out. I can't wait to get to the point of my career. Everything. Where I'm telling people no. People very often early on feel, might feel that they're above something or beyond something and maybe they're right I don't know and maybe it is that kind of Chris Tucker I'm only coming out if you pay me 20 million but my approach has always been nothing happens sitting on your couch people no, aren't going right, to discover you right. so work um, get better at what you do take take reps do it for free sometimes until you can figure out a way to get paid and Ninja Look Warrior seems to be and so Ninja Warrior thing. came about honestly the very <laughs> I have Ninja to bring Warrior. It back. No, no, no. Ninja Warrior. So I, it's, I, you know, the lesson with American Ninja Warrior is uh, the people who do well aren't the most talented. And in fact, I think sometimes people rely on their talent, the mm -hmm. gift. And we see people come out who are NFL athletes or Olympic gold medalists or former Navy SEALs who think I'm going to crush this course and fail. Right. And the ones who do well are the ones who work hard. Mm -hmm. The hardest workers do the best on American Ninja Warrior. It's really egalitarian. It's that y you have to train non non-stop and push yourself to be the best yeah. so when you get the opportunity you're ready for it brings me to a, a question actually i was going to ask you about the physical abilities of these people it's pretty mm -hmm. crazy and you just said a lot of athletes fail mm -hmm. but then the people that have a lot of heart and have worked hard win there's got to be something though that you've noticed from these athletes to the people that actually can succeed in it yeah i think a lot of you know we see people doing well uh gymnastics is a great background mm -hmm. Um, people who do parkour, um, people who've done some rock climbing. Right. And I think the people who really do well are the ones who've learned how to move their body in space and be familiar with generating momentum or you know, how to use your, uh, how to regain balance when you trip just intuitively. Um, or not intuitively because they've trained it. And you've got that, uh, the I guess, the contest to design the next obstacle. So right? we've had that. The, you go to anwnation.com. There's a challenge on there where this season, every city had at least one obstacle designed by a viewer. For people who want to do it, go to anwnation.com, and you could design an obstacle that next year people will be competing on. Have you uh, anyone in particular that you thought was... Kind of the craziest. We had we had a uh, Kansas City. There was one called Crank It Up, and essentially it was a a set of handles that you would have to ratchet up position by position, right, okay. and essentially go um, you know like a uh, 140 degrees around, transition to another set of handles, and do it three times. And it was just such uh, you know you would tune it, you get it, you get it. You have to keep your body up, kind of like the salmon right. ladder. But it was so exhausting watching these people. It was just the fourth obstacle. And just seeing how they, they would get to it and they would just gas out. And it was just brutal because they get through one set of handles and feel a victory. And then they start at the bottom to the second, to the third and transition off. And at every point we would see people drop off. And it was just, um, it was a great obstacle in that it was a pretty simple skill, but it was a really fun one to watch, yeah. and where you felt at any second they could fall, but at the same time you saw them fighting through it. So, I love it. I love yeah, it, it I love makes it. I, again, I can't do what they do, no. which is why I have such an appreciation for it, uh, because I'm just I'm I haven't put the time in, and that's why I've such anyone who sets foot on the course, um, you know, I'll tip my cap to them because they're the ones yeah. who are getting in the ring. Anybody that I've ever talked to, and, and you, I mean, the, the minute I would be out is the, the first lateral left jump <laughs> to my, re my, <laughs> left, my, step. my left it's knee a good is start. out. It's right. like totally out. But uh, make sure you tune in to this guy, Matt Eisman, 
Mondays at 8, 7 central for American Ninja Warrior, even yeah, though he says American Ninja Warrior a whole lot better than American Ninja Warrior. It's my one trick. I love it. Thanks, man. Thanks, Mike.